this is um, Julie, and this I'm, is Andy Faulkner's mum. I'm the mum. <laughs> and you know your way around the kitchen better than me, so we're going to... Maybe. I'm not sure of that. <laughs> we got some carrots, and we got some potato chips, and um, and, and pumpkin. Oh, pumpkin. Uh, yeah. Right. And we're going to put something my grandson loves, and it's uh, sweet potato chips. Get it off the shelf and put it in 10 minutes later, it's ready. Oh really, 10 minutes? Yep. Oh nice. Okay. Their chippies are ready in 10 minutes, vegan chippies. Um, the, the sweet potato chips, they're oh, nice. very good. Delicious, yeah. sounds, sounds lovely. Yeah, they're nice. So have you seen these? I haven't seen these before. This is a fest Looks feast. Looks wonderful. Feast on this festive wreath. Yes, and it is um, oat and pecan based filling. Mm. Sprinkled with sage, it just sounds delicious. Take that out. All right. And Julie, what do you think of this one here? Tell them what it is. Yes, yes. This is a Christmas roast succulent soy protein infused with fragrant herbs and spices and finished with a sweet and tangy cranberry glaze. Oh, yummy. That sounds, that sounds um, tasty. This is plants with a bit of attitude. Oh, very good. Which sounds very nice. <laughs> Let's get her out. I didn't have to make the glaze for this. This is wonderful, isn't They've it? They've marinated it for us. In yes, a bag. yes, it's all ready. You know where we got these from? Do you get them from Woolies? Woolies. Yeah, they. Woolies have. Got Woolies Australia. Woolies. Good work. Quite I'm afraid they are very good as far as looking after us, looking after vegans. They have a lot of vegan meats. And how really long have good. you been vegan for, Julie? Only ten years. Ten Since years. I was sixty-five. I changed yes. 10 years only uh, well yeah that's only not long years. that's not long that's longer than I me i feel nearly. very guilty about, when did you go vegan 2013 about then well, about same then. Here. yeah and i saw a i saw a show on television on the abc which um it showed the, the uh, large animals you know the cattle and so on and being herded up a race uh -huh. And um, and one poor animal had broken its leg, oh, no. and um, this terrible person was p prodding it with an electric prod mm -hmm. as it went tried to get up the race, and it could oh, hardly God. move it, you know, with its broken yeah. leg, and it forced it up. He forced it up the, and I thought this is wrong. Yeah, something has to happen. And the next thing, Andy came over and he'd become vegan, and I thought that's what I can. I didn't know what to do, but I thought I had to do something. And he came over and I thought, that's what I'll do. And also at the same, similar time, my grandson had become vegan. Oh, wow. And I, he was with me a lot. And I was giving him meals quite a lot. And so um, I thought, might as well join them. So I did. <laughs> and I haven't looked back. Wow, what a lovely story. Well, well it never, it's a, it's a lovely It's a never-ending story, isn't it? It's a lovely never-ending lovely situation. Lovely to a terrible, yeah. terrible story, yeah. really. But you know, yeah. I'm glad yeah. that you made, take, took the change that yes. you needed, to, you know? Yes, 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 I am too. I'm, very, I'm so sorry I didn't do it earlier. Okay, leave that there and we'll put that on. And what's this one here? Like, tell the people. Oh, people this, is, this is mine. This is what I buy. <laughs> this is the veggie roast and it is so yummy and you can have, make a glaze to put on this too. This so, one you prepared yeah, earlier yep. and you put a bit so, of relish on there. Yeah, so, sweet. so it's a green, that's, what I, that's right, just the green, oh, oh, that's it. Simply green tomato chutney so on top. The so that's the glaze. And, you, and you, can, you can chop that in half um, before or after you cook it and then you can have two meals. Because it's quite a lot in one roll. It's nice. So um, you can, it's... Uh, I can vouch for this one. Yeah. I love it. I eat it cold sometimes. It's, uh, yeah, oh, it's lovely on sandwiches. It's nice. Sandwich. It's lovely. You put yeah. on your, put in your, um, on your little uh, flatbread or yep. your sandwich. Beautiful. Really like a cold sandwich meat yep. as well. Should we do a taste yeah. test together? Yep, yep, uh, yep, yep. yep. Okay. So we found some, um, found some vegan gravy as well, too. Oh, yeah. did you? You found the vegan gravy. God love you. Okay, so... So what do we do here? Direct to got Because I know you've got some glazes, which is nice. We've got a cranberry yes. glaze for this, but we'd also yes. maybe we'd want a little bit of gravy too, because we a know like people gravy. love a bit of gravy. Yeah, Christmas, they you know. do. They do. There's no doubt about it. Tablespoons of greens roast meat gravy in a large in jug, large jug ah, and add one cup of boiling water. Boiling. This is easy. Ah, uh, it's pretty easy to be yeah. vegan, isn't it? Yes. Oh God, jeez. And, and and it's good. It's so good. I think for the it's animals. a state of mind. It's what you. It's what you put. You know, you want to put into your body. Exactly. And and if it, that's once you get past that, of oh, I'm putting a different thing in my body now, and you do it, and you 
don't think about it, how long it takes or doesn't take to make. Exactly. It's fine. But it does take no longer, and I know from the many years that I was doing it, that it doesn't take longer than a it's normal... It's the same thing, isn't it? No, exactly right. Anyone like Julie out there who's around Julie's age when she went vegan, it's never too late to go vegan? No, definitely not. All okay, right, that's right. the green tomato chutney. We have to put, have to open that. Okay, you want me so to give it a crack? Give it a crack, and I've got that there if you can't. Oh, you don't need that. <sighs> You don't yeah. need that. That's Strong all that man. protein, mate. Yes. All that's, that tofu. That's all that goodness. That's all the goodness. That's what that is. It sounds like it's got the veggie in it. So it's hot sauce in it already. My stepfather used to put veggie in hot sauce at, in gravy. We've got veggie and we've got all the little things, all the little... You know what? Is it okay? Does it need a little bit it's of... It's got that veggie stock roundness. Yes. It's got savoury flavour. Good. It's just salty enough. Oh. I think they've, named, they've really nailed it. And whatever whatever um, metric you did with some of the water to... Yeah, to just a cup of water. I, I used the 250 mils. So use a coffee mug? Yeah, yeah. Just, it's, just, it's perfect. <laughs> Look at my thing came down. <laughs> That's from me drooling in the oven. Really <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I think maybe we'll do a little break for some turkey facts. Turkeys are intelligent and sensitive animals that are highly social. They are affectionate and create lasting social bonds with each other, a lot like dogs and cats. Turkeys can recognise each other by their voices and are known to exhibit over 20 distinct vocalisations. A male turkey's gobble can be heard a mile away. Female turkeys don't gobble, but they do purr. Just like humans, turkeys have good and bad moods. If a male turkey's throat and head are blue, this means that they are happy or calm, and red indicates that they are distressed or angry. Turkeys are protective mothers. When a turkey's eggs are getting close to hatching in the wild, the mother does not leave. Instead, she stays with the young at ground level to keep them safe and warm till they learn to fly and roost in the trees. Finally, because turkeys are sentient beings who deserve moral consideration, it is wrong to violate their rights for trivial human purposes. Let's respect their interests by leaving turkeys and other animals off of our plates this Christmas and beyond. Back to cooking with Julie. Andy Faulkner, savepoppy.com. This is we're at your mum's house right now cooking up rice for Christmas. But who's muffin? Tell, muffin. tell everyone about muffin. Where, what was muffin a? This is muffin. Uh, it's muffin. Vegan. Hey, vegan muffin. muffin. Muffin's vegan. Plant based. Plant based. Yeah. And uh, Muffin has been quite famous in Pitt Street, isn't it, Muffin? Oh, I used to do a lot of activism, Muffin. He's been to universities many times. That was his, his main job, helping people. We'd talk to animal lovers. Yeah. Uh, who would just be patting Muffin like crazy. Yeah. And then would ask them about pigs and cows and chickens and fish and ducks and turkeys and lambs. Wow. Who they would stab in the throat. And you can't really be an animal lover if you're, if you're doing that to animals. True. And Muffin would help them make the connection and realise well they would all suffer exactly the same as Muffin. Yeah. So they had to be vegan. So Muffin helped a lot of people go vegan. Wow, Muffin. Because of your sentient capacity showing that all animals deserve moral consideration with your cutie little face. Oh dear. <laughs> this is Muffin's Christmas dinner. Wow. Muffin, will, Muffin will have this for dinner. And how old's Muffin? 13. 13 years old, so you're like, Muffin, you're like 100 in dog years. Mm -hmm. been on you're the 91, on the 91 in dog years. And you're still looking like, still looking strong. There you go. Yeah. I, I'll, I would like to eat some of this too. It's vegan, so. Yep, fit for us. Fit for us, fit for, fit for them. Instead of giving them the slaughterhouse scraps of the tumors and all the, the cancerous, you know, body parts and the entrails. Look how generous these servings are. I don't know, is there going to be? There we go. Are we getting? That looks like a Joey serving to me, I reckon. A, maybe a Joey I'll serving? On that one. A Joey serving. Yes, it is our lovely little round one there. That one. Yeah, well, There's that lovely one there. Look the, at that. That's the marinated one. Here we go. Oh, lovely. Thanks, Dan. Here we go. Have a look at it. 
you've sliced a roll or two in your time. So you can have one piece to share between you. Oh! <laughs> 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 We have pumpkin, we have potatoes, we have... And carrots, we have sweet potatoes, and we have beans. Wow. Yes, there you go. thank you. Beautiful. All right, let's go. The first one, here's the glaze. What do you got? Oh, yes, I got that one too. Okay, let's go. Mm-hmm. That's very nice. Mmm. It is very tasty. It's got good texture. It's very savoury. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes more meaty, doesn't it? It does. It does. And the sweetness of the uh, cranberries. And the great, cr yeah, the nice. It works very well with it. Works with it. well, works well. All right, so what's this one? This is the... Uh, um, this is a, a little... It's uh, like a wreath. It's yeah. called a wreath and it's got pastry and a, and a mm. filling. Mm. And savoury and nuts in it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like this. Mm. That is a... That is a... I think that's nice. That's a real Christmassy type of... Um, the pastry just makes it Christmassy, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It does. That is, it's special. That is delicious. Mm, it's special. And mm -hmm. then we've got, finally, we've got the roll that you're used to this roll, but I'm not. Yes, yes. Oh, well, I am, but not like this with the glaze. Yes. With the relish. Yeah. Mm. And we have to put some more relish on it, too. That is a winner because it tastes like like a turkey roll. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? You're right. So that, this here is like a, this here You'd I never know it was a veggie roll, would you? No. You'd Taste never like a, know. No, it's like turkey roll. Mm. Instead of killing the turkeys, try this one. All right. Which one is your favourite? Mm. Mm. Same. I'll go the reef. Mm. And these two are a close tie because... Very close. Yeah, yeah. Different taste, different this, texture a little bit. This if, one's if you gave me a choice, If you gave me a choice, it would be this one. Yeah, yeah, but I think so but too. But this one is good. That's so I don't good. want to say that this one's bad. No, 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 no. This one's next and this one's third. But they're all lovely. They're all winners. And there's no animals in there, so there's no. Animals. So it's better still. And let's try your uh, let's try your cauliflower here. Hmm. Not cauliflower, mm. white sauce. That's my favourite. That one. is rich. My favourite veggie is cauliflower now. Oh, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try the gravy and the veggies. They really should be the, a star of the show them in themselves, but yeah. <clears throat> they're good. That gravy is so good. Mm. Isn't it? All right, work. so after this, we'll taste test the, the, the Christmas dessert. Boom. I've, I've gone cream on the chocolate cake, and you've gone cream, gone cream on, the, on, on the brownie. On the brownie. We're gonna do a taste test. Which yes. one do you want to go first? I'll go with my brownie you first. You got brownie first. Brownie All right. And cream first. Yeah. Mm. Lovely brownie. Mm. Very, Sticky. Very nice. Chocolatey. Yeah. Very good. I want to try something your custard. Mm. Custard and chocolate cake wishes again. Well, no, it's chocolate. So this is a plantitude chocolate cake. Right. Hashtag not sponsored. Actually, just bought it because it's vegan. Mm -hmm. And we got the uh, creamy. Oatly oat cream. Mm -hmm. That's nice with the nuts, isn't it? Yes. And the cream on top. Oh, very nice. Hazelnut. All right. What about the ice cream? Did you try it? Mm, very nice. Wow. All right. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Mm. What, what's your favourite? Like. Mm. I think this one. I really like that one. Mm. Mm. It's hard because they're all good for different mm. reasons. Like mm. I want vanilla mm. ice cream for what I want it for. Mm. I like the custard for when I want it, and the cream is good for different things. Mm. Mm. But dude, these truffles are just too good. Yeah, they so, are good so, too. No, go truffle. Yeah. So if I was gonna that there, just like that melts mm. in your mouth. It does. It does. If I could have a truffle and ice cream with my cake, mm -hmm. that mm. would be. Yeah, that'd be sublime. Oh, there we go. Yep, beautiful. And no dairy cows harmed. No. Nope. No egg laying hens harmed and killed either. No. Nope. It's all plants. See? Very good. The way it should be. We also get cherries, but everyone knows they're vegan already. Yep. Mm. Do you have any Christmas message you want to leave people with? Mmm. Maybe this Christmas will be a great time to, to think about going vegan. It can't hurt and you've only got... Heaps to gain, and your health. And of course the animals will be the life. 
So it's all good. And Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Christmas is a time for love, compassion, sharing, peace and justice and equality and respect. And uh, we should apply that, those principles out to non-human animals and stop causing the most suffering, violence and death you could imagine by killing innocent beings. It's not consistent with Christian values. It's not consistent with the values of any good-hearted human being. And we should all evolve past the mass murder of animals and live vegan.